Hey folks, this week we are talking about solar power. Okay, uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Hey folks, thanks for joining me for another episode of Motoring Home. And in this episode, I want to show you my solar setup. Now, it was important to me that I be able to go off-grid whenever I want. Um, not because I want to run away from the system or anything like that, but if I'm away and I want to stay away for a little bit longer, I have no worries. So the electricity setup is as goes. I have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof, which I will show you now. So here we have the solar panel fully installed. This is a 200 watt solar panel from Photonic Universe. And you can see over there is the junction box and the wires are going in from there, same as the spotlight wires, down through the van and into the wardrobe. And I have an MPPT charger right next to me here, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit, that runs into the leisure battery bank that I have. Now my battery bank is two 200 amp hour batteries um, and they are also connected to a VSR split charger. And that means that when the engine is running, the alternator is not only charging the engine battery, but is also charging my leisure batteries. And it also works in reverse, so on a really sunny day when I'm parked up, once my leisure battery bank is charged fully, the VSR will open and charge my uh, engine battery too, so I should never ever get stuck. So it's a pretty cool system, that along with the LPG system that I've got to run the heater, the oven, the hobs and the hot water system, means that I can operate off-grid for quite some time. So let me show you some of the little bits before we get into the build. So this is the MPPT charger. It's more efficient than a regular solar charger and I've got that connected to my leisure battery bank. And right now it's a pretty cloudy day so it's not getting much charge. Um, next to it are some 240 volts. This is the UK standard voltage for household power. And uh, I have an inverter charging the one that's empty or powering the one that's empty. The other one is connected to a mains hookup. Now I have two more up here right now it's on because it's charging one of my camera batteries um and so i've got another two plug sockets the top one is powered by the mains hookup so i've got some options now up here as well i have a battery charge indicator um above sorry uh, below my uh, heater system up there and as you can see right now the top light is lit so the batteries are fully charged which is awesome it means the system is working so um i'm going to turn you off and turn it back on with the wardrobe open. Those wires there are coming from the junction box on the roof and they're running behind that board all the way down. Now here's a cool little thing for you. Um, right here is the thermostat. So that's connected to my LPG heater so it doesn't get too hot and switches on when it's a bit cold. And those two devices are pretty cool. One of them here on the left is my Wi-Fi, my mobile Wi-Fi device. Uh, which is awesome. I've got it from three and I get 40 gigs a month for 20 pounds And I also get free streaming of Netflix and SoundCloud. So it's pretty badass um, And then that there is my Bluetooth receiver Which is plugged into the amp which is underneath here and that runs my speakers And then in this box here is where the inverter is stored and those aren't the only two ventilation holes There are loads more in the back and, and everywhere else and boom, look at that setup. It looks crazy, right? But I promise you, I know where everything goes. Uh, I have the amp there for the speakers. Above it and its own in, in its own compartment is the inverter. I have a 1500 watt inverter with peak of 3000 watts. Uh, so I can run microwave and kettle and things if I want to. There is the multi-stage smart charger. So when I'm hooked up to the mains, I disconnect the solar charger and that helps prolong the life of those big ass batteries. Um, can I say ass on YouTube? I'm, I'm sorry, kids. Um, I said it. And yeah, so those guys then ch uh, power everything in the van. And that wire there is the one that's going from the solar charger into those. And then all the power gets routed around the van. 
via all those wires. I hope. Hi, I'm Marty McFly, and I'm about to take you back to the future. Uh, we're gonna go solar, solar energy. Um, so let me show you what we got. I've got a MPPT charger, brackets to fix to the roof. This is the panel, panel fixes to the brackets, brackets get glued to the roof with my uh, Seekerflex 552 adhesive and there's an um, uh, activator there to, to for the surface of the van. We've got the junction box, the outdoor van. Uh, it's gonna go outdoors. Uh, and then the cables are gonna go through the junction box into this, connected to the battery. And that's how we're gonna charge the system, as well as the split charger. So yeah, let's do it. gonna drop it just ask for help I don't know why you're trying to do this by yourself no one's impressed Nobody. Justin, don't drop it. He's gonna drop it. You're gonna drop it. No, you're gonna. Oh, don't drop it. Okay, so I just connected up the solar panel and I'm super excited because it looks like it's working. It's only showing like 0 0.1 or showing zero amps right now uh, going into it, but I'm about to go take off 
the cover I just stuck over on the roof and it's a pretty cloudy day but let's see if it makes a difference. Okay so uh, I'm going to build the battery box now and then a shelf for the inverter to go on top. So the uh, inverter is going to go in here, um, so I'm going to cut some ventilation holes near the top and there before I cover everything in carpet. Not this side because the inverter is going there, it doesn't need it, but I think I want a nice finish to what uh, may be my undies drawer right here um, and then some storage on top. So, yes. Anyone hey, remember um, Pimp My Ride, well now uh, West Coast Customs? I feel like ish man. West Coast or West Coast. Mm. Mm. I get out of here because I got work to do. Okay, today on tool time, we are going to get the pure sign inverter ready to go. So I chose 1500 watt, which is probably way too much, um, but I wanted to have the ability to run a small microwave and also maybe a kettle. I wonder if it's more efficient to boil a kettle with electric than it is on the hob. So. I'm trying to figure stuff out. Plus, it came with two plug sockets, which is something I wanted. Um, it's got a USB port there. I'm going to throw more of those in anyway. But yeah, so I'm going to get this ready to go on this bad boy. So I've got instructions to read and stuff, so speed through. So, inverter's in place, leads are coming down to the battery bank where the circuit board's going to go in a bit. But uh, I just wanted to show you this, the back is all going to stay open. Open there, the battery is open here, and then I'll probably put a back in for the wardrobe part, although maybe not because the, um, the earth block is there. So it might be a nice idea just to keep access to everything. Uh, there's the trunk and going through to the front of the cab. Um, yeah, and, and it looks like a cat scratcher sort of board, but I put a couple of vent holes in here. I don't think it's going to need it. I left it lots of space, loads of space in there to, to there's fans in the back so it can make, it can stay cool. So yeah, that's it. I worked quite late last night, got a bunch of stuff done that I wanted to. Today, I reckon I can get um, this sort of cut to the right size, all of the wiring set up, ready to go apart from all the individual units like the load like the fridge and stuff but everything in the main circuit board will be sorted
yeah, that's in place. Um, and we start working on some stuff behind. So uh, I've charged both batteries up independently, so they're both at full charge, um, which now means I can connect them to make the battery bank. And one isn't going to have less charge than the other, and it's not going to cause a problem. And I'm going to link them in a way that the negative comes off battery A, the load comes off battery B, so it spreads the, the, um, the load across the two batteries rather than draining one before the other. So uh, yeah, guys, get cracking on that, and I'll, I'll bring you inside soon. Sorry team, the uh, both memory cards I used uh, were filled yesterday because I didn't download the day before one of them, so I do apologise if you missed some stuff, but unfortunately, apart from a slightly different coloured t-shirt, but it's exactly the same, um, I'm wearing the same clothes, so you never know the difference. Uh, but here we go, I'm going to give you a little um, rundown of what I achieved without you guys. So come on in. So I think you were here for the carpet lining there. I then got the panel cut out with some things and, and lined. I've got the thermostat for the LPG heater, Propex heater. I've got a USB. There with me. There you go. Boop. On off there. Perfect. Um, I've then got the solar charger and it's sunny so it's actually delivering some ampage not much but it is winter and then I've got my inverter for 240 power I'm not sure if I'm gonna install this thing yet it's the remote but it does show power usage on there so it might come in handy um, and then if we go into here it's just like a wardrobe area for hanging stuff at the top but the inverter box is there with some vents in and then the crazy cool uh, battery thing, which I ran you through yesterday. So yeah, that's it, and I, I carpet lined this um, in there. So not very well, you can see some of the things, but I use some scrap because it's gonna be dark, you always see it. All right team, so that's it for today. Uh, that's it for maybe this week uh, for videos because I've got to go away on wrestling tour again. So uh, I appreciate you stopping in, appreciate you watching. I really appreciate all the subscribers that have joined us. I think I've jumped up like 150 in the past two weeks which is kind of crazy, so I really appreciate you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and um, I will endeavor to show you more cool stuff in the future. I will hit you all up when I'm back from tour, um, which will be early next week. I'll try and get another video done. Peace out, y'all.